Hello, and welcome to another card collection update video. So we're gonna say in this video is that uh, all this uh, card collecting, it, it takes up so much space here. Because like in the back, we have like uh, all these boxes here. So, so we have like uh, four boxes of binders here of cards that we had bindered. Like uh, four boxes, that's a lot of inventory space. And if you look down here, we got like uh, most of our pages sorted out here. So, it's like, uh, the, these pages, they're all right. Maybe we just have to wipe some fingerprints off of them. Maybe a little bit of, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever builds up on them. Uh, yeah, like the, these pages mostly good here. These ones, they're brand new, except that uh, the, these are like the low quality pages that you get in that, uh, card books. They're not worth using, really. These pages, they're all good. Maybe we just have to wipe some fingerprints and then clean it a little bit. Same with these ones here. <clears throat> these ones are pretty much brand new. It's just cleaning off a little bit on the edges up here, these ones. So, we have like uh, so many pages here. And we have so many pages up here too. So, these pages are probably good pages. <laughs> like, we, we check them and we clean them a little bit if we needed to. So, we probably use these pages to binder some things up, actually. And these ones, you also have another box here. It's like, uh, all these, I, I think that they're too dirty. They have, like, uh, too much stuff built on them. Or they just have some dirt stuck in them that we can't, can't really get out. Or we can't be bo uh, bothered to get out or something. We have, like, uh, so many pages here. Like, this, this stuff. It's always on the front page for some reason. And it always builds up on the sides here, the, the edges and everything. But uh, these are pretty much like all the pages that we had. Because uh, we did used to buy, trade, and sell cards. So we needed a whole bunch of binders and pages and everything. But that, that we don't actually uh, have a store or anything. Maybe we actually need to get rid of these, right? Cause like, uh, look at all these things. We could, we could probably fit like a uh, one box of binders. It's like uh, one, one box of binders seems to have 20 binders in it. I believe that we counted it. It's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like uh, 20 binders per, per box here. So it's like uh, 20, 40, 60. Yeah, we should have at least uh, 80 different binders here. Although we were looking, I think they can only fit like uh, 20 binders per shelf here. Oh, maybe not even that many. Yeah, because actually once you like uh, put, put these uh, pages in them and then open them up, so they take up uh, more inventory space here, right? So how many, how many do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We, we can maybe only get like 16 or something. All right? 5. There's 15. And then we got 16. It can only fit like uh, six, 16 or 17. 16 or 17. 17 be a tight fit. It's so, so I guess you can fit 17 in here, right? It, I, I guess if we put them all in here, then they would all be flush and everything. So I, I guess we can just fit uh, 17 by enters in each row. That's it. It's like uh, not even one full box here. So, and then we have to figure out like uh, where do we store everything. Uh, as well, we we were we were going to originally binder up all the comments here, but but then as we were bindering them, we're like, uh, that's going to take up so much inventory space. <laughs> actually, our problem is that I thought that we didn't actually have that many pages. I thought we were running a lot of uh, good pages here, because cause, uh, orig originally, we're going through all these pages here, and we were redeeming like a... Uh, most of them unusable, actually. So I thought we didn't have that many pages. But then, after going through them again, they're, like, uh, lowering our standards a little bit. It's all right if it's a bit scuffed up or anything. That it's, uh, it's not going to affect it too much. 
it's just if it's like uh covered covered in covered in dirt or or if there's a whole bunch of dirt in the sleeves or something uh, if it's beyond that all you just have to do is wipe them off a bit but with, with this like uh common bladder that we set up like if we try to look at it right uh we're not going to we're, we're not going to know who any of these people uh, people are here we're not going to have any connection to any of them, right? Like, uh, we don't know who the Brave Kid Duo is. We don't know the Intrepid Rabbit or the Wired Elder or anything. I, I guess the uh, artwork looks really good, right? There's just a whole bunch of rabbits here. Uh, we don't know who the Outlaw Medic is or who the uh, Sterling, uh, Sterling Gatekeeper, Sterling uh, Key Keeper. So we're going through here, we don't even recognize any of these people here, right? Uh, so, I, so I guess this uh, binder is pretty much u useless to us. And we did have a whole bunch of uh, actual interest on uh, Facebook. So we might actually be uh, selling a whole bunch of them. So we're going through, right? I don't think there's actually any reason to uh, keep a whole, bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of comments that you don't even uh, re recognize. So, actually, so I think that the uh, thing that started it, the reason that I wanted to actually buy all these up here is because we like cards like these, right? Cards that we uh, recognized. So, so I think what we do is like a uh, baby, baby just keeps some cards that we uh, recognize that it reprints, like the Prosthetic Prism. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card, add one mana of any color. So when it uh, comes to the field, it just replaces itself, and then you can do mana fixing. Uh, so it's really good, for, really good for splashing up Hopper and X. The, the kite sail, right? Creature okay, gets plus one and gains flying. Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably not, probably not the best artifact, but it is like a reprint that we recognize. Then uh, negate, right? They re reprint that so much. Uh, but it's just a common, common card that we recognize. <laughs> so, well, I wonder if we should set up like uh, sub magic binders, but but it should just be like uh, popper comments that we recognize or something. Uh, yeah, because over here, right? We're saying Re Return to Ravnica was such a boring set, uh, but it was actually pretty good because it had so many good uh, re reprints that we actually recognize from it. We don't even know where it is. It might be up here or something. Oh, it's up here, yeah. Okay. So besides that, I think that, like, uh, as we're going through them and thinking about it, as we have people interested in purchasing these things, we really probably should actually just clear out some space here, right? Because we were, we were thinking uh, of keeping all the uh, ball comments and odd comments to just uh, binder them up for some reason to collect them. Although, if we just uh, sell the 4,000 ball comments and odd comments, that would be like uh, all the space back here. That would be one, one thing of these back. And we're thinking, maybe we should try to sell the uh, bulk of the other games too. If we, maybe, maybe we could try to see if we can figure out 4,000 uh, card fight back or bulk or something. Maybe maybe some uh, waste swords bulk. Maybe Pokemon bulk. Although I don't think we have too much Pokemon bulk. Uh, but essentially... Oh, and then all those other things, right? The uh, the Mega Man trading card game. The uh, Dot Hack trading card game. We just have like, uh, so many of those cards. Uh, if we get rid of those things, the uh, UFS and everything... I have like another two boxes of space back or something. And uh, I wonder if we don't need all these uh, pages here, right? But well, I guess these are these are like the only ones that are actually usable at the moment. But well, I guess these are usable, right? They're yeah, I guess so. And all these uh, binders and everything. Like we're saying, they take up uh, so much space here. So if we could maybe the outsize everything to like uh, half as much if we get like a uh, half or a collection or something so if we just get like a uh, half of these binders or something i don't know what you're gonna do with these things i wonder if we try to sell some extra binders or something but but the thing is what well, once you uh sell the binders then it's hard to get them back right uh, once you 
sell the pages. It's hard to get them back. Although, if you need space, if you sell them, I wonder if the uh, space board part it. Alright, so we ended the video here pretty soon, but I guess that's like uh, also something else I've been doing, because we, we pretty much like, had all this stuff here for so long that like uh, all, 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 all the stuff we don't even really uh, need here, right? Like all. All the Pokemon packaging, all these, like, uh, boxes and everything. Like, these, uh, boxes, it doesn't look like it, but they probably do take up a whole bunch of space here. So, I imagine if we just, like, uh, broke these boxes out of it, would be more space back. Like, uh, everything here just, uh, all adds up here. But, but I think we, I, I think we do still have a whole bunch of u usable sleeves here, right? We have, like, uh, these ones are good, these ones are pretty good, these ones are pretty good. Uh, these ones are... Pretty much, pretty much brand new almost. Well, I guess they're still usable. There doesn't seem to be too much wrong with them. Then all these ones here. I, I guess all these ones have pretty much uh, ran their lifetime or something. So I, I imagine that they came in from like uh, older collections or something. So I imagine these these ones are probably, probably like uh, over 10 years old or something. Yeah, cause, uh, a lot of them are uh, brand new or noticing. They just had a few scuff marks. There's no reason throwing them out. <laughs> ah, but as you can see, I guess you have like a uh, one, two, three. What what you fell it up with? Uh, more of these things here. One, two, three, four. So that's pretty much like uh, four boxes of inventory space just in uh, binder page sleeves here, right? They're like uh, four four of these boxes in uh. But I don't have a tour space. Uh, yeah, they're like, yeah, 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 a little bit more than another box and like, uh, stuff that we don't even need. So I guess even just like, uh, getting rid of these things would give us uh, a lot of space back. I have to get rid of a box of comments here, then those other things, right? Maybe we'll actually be able to get some space back in here.